Remove these two screws on the side of the cartridge. Compatible cartridges made in China may be slightly different. Remove the side panel. Remove the gear. Remove the inner felt. Remove this screw. Remove this small end cap. Remove the earring. Pry up the tab, and remove the side plastic plate. Remove the developer roller. Remove the fill cap. Be careful, the fill cap is easily damaged. Clean out all the remaining toner from the cartridge. It's better to use compressed air. If possible, use a toner workstation. Getting all the old toner out is very important. The toner left in the cartridge is mostly waste toner. The best you clean the cartridge, the best quality you'll have. Do not breathe the toner dust. Gently, clean the developer roller with a mixture of water and isopropyl alcohol. The developer roller carries the toner from the supply chamber to the drum. Using a cotton swab, clean the edge of the developer roller blade so there is no evidence of toner buildup. If any built-up exists, the cartridge will streak. The doctor blade controls the amount of toner on the developer roller. Be careful not to damage this mylar sealing blade. Clean and inspect the felt seals. If they are compressed, roughen them up using a small screwdriver. Reinstall the developer roller. Insert the shaft of the roller into its drive gear. Reinstall the earring. Fill the cartridge with toner through the fill hole. This cartridge takes 80 grams of toner. Replace the fill plug, and check for leaks. Reinstall the felt. Insert the gear. Reinstall the plastic plate, with its screw. This cartridge has a reset gear that must be in the correct position. This is the reset gear. Set the reset gear as shown. Reinstall the side panel with the two screws. Remember, 
the starter cartridge has no reset gear. This cartridge has a chip too. The cartridge will work with the old chip, you just won't be able to keep track of the percentage life. Remove the old cartridge chip. Be careful, there are components on the back of the chip. Replace the chip into the new toner cartridge. Because it is an used cartridge chip, you need to set your printer to ignore the replace toner message. Press, Menu, General Setup, will be displayed. Press OK. Press arrow up or down to display the replace toner option. Press OK. It will display the continue or stop option. Press arrow up or arrow down, and select, continue. Press OK. It will display, accepted. Press, arrow up, or arrow down, and choose, general setup. Press OK. Press, arrow up, or arrow down, and choose, replace toner. Press OK. Press, arrow up, or arrow down, and choose, continue. Press, go.